Hi, this is James Omdahl from Kutenda, where we help you take action, succeed online, and drive more leads to your small business. Uh, in the last couple videos, we've talked about selecting keywords and selecting core keywords and then geographically modifying those keywords to fit your small business. And today I want to take that a step further and talk about using those geographically modified keywords for search engine optimization. So today is really taking the words that we have. In the last video, we talked about localizing our SEO uh, to get traffic more quickly and traffic from the right places, and then taking that information and turning it into a keyword list. So the example we're going to be using today is in the health insurance market in Denver. And you can see in the keyword list here, we have our primary keyword. And then below that, we have secondary keywords. And in this case, it would be a, let's say, a health insurance agent in the Denver area who also works in other areas of Colorado. And then, as you can see, looking down the list, uh, Golden, Louisville, Aurora, those are all cities within the Denver metro area. And we also have some of the major cities that outlie uh, the Denver metro area. So this would be our example keyword list. And this is what we'll be using today. The big question is, you know, how do you use these keywords? Once you have a keyword list, once you're ready to go, how do you use those to optimize your website? Um, well, really there's a bunch of elements to it. The title tag, meta description, meta keywords, the page content itself and the H1 tags, and then also the linking internal and external. And you might say, well, what does that all mean? So let's go step by step and really talk through what's what. And first off, kind of the most important one we want to discuss is the title tag. So what I'd like to do is start off with all these and kind of show you where you can see these uh, when you're using your computer and, and find uh, the title tag in this case or the different tags as we go along. Um, title tag is something that you'll be able to see if you look in your browser window. Uh, it's not going to be in the web page itself, but it will be at the top of the browser window. And that's where your title tag shows up when you're looking at a web page yourself. If you were to go into the code, if that's something you like to do, you can see it right here. It's usually in the head section or it is in the head section. And uh, you can see it says title and then the actual title tag itself. And then it closes with the title on the other end. Um, if then you look in the search results, and this is where it gets really important, you can see that this blue clickable text for a search result is actually your title tag. So that's really important because that's what people are going to be seeing when they're doing searches and finding your company. So what are the rules for title tags? Uh, number one, we're going to want to use our primary keyword in there and then select one of your secondary keywords. A lot of times you're going to want to use your highest volume keyword and use that in your title tag as well. Now, lengthwise, you're going to do it around 65 characters, and that's including spaces. And the reason 65 characters is, is the guideline there is that's about how much space you're going to get uh, in that blue clickable text in the search results. It can be longer. A lot of times if you have longer uh, keywords, it's going to have to be longer, and that's fine. But just know that 65 is a good guideline to aim for. Another thing that you're going to most likely want to do is include your company name and your title tags. And this makes it very easy when you're including that company name in the title tags for your website to rank for your own company name. So going through an example here, we go to our keyword list and we take our primary keyword and then our top secondary keyword, which is Colorado Health Insurance. And then we write up an example title tags. You can see the first one, Denver Health Insurance Agent, Colorado Health Insurance Pros. You'll notice I'm using, in this case, two colons. Uh, in the next example, I'm using a vertical line. And then the example after that, there's a hyphen. Um, all these are actually fine to use. Uh, search engines actually will just take those out so it doesn't exactly affect uh, how anything ranks. It's more of a visual thing. Uh, sometimes can break up the text for, uh, for you so when people are looking at your title tag in the search results, it looks a little bit cleaner, or catches their eye a little bit more. So other examples of title tags, Denver Health Insurance Quotes, Colorado Health Insurance Agents, Colorado Health Insurance, Denver Health Insurance Quotes, and then the last one there, Denver Health Insurance Quotes, your Colorado Insurance Experts. And you'll notice in this last one, I didn't use Colorado Health Insurance again, and that's okay. Uh, you probably want to include both keywords in there, but if you feel like it sounds unnatural, you can always break it up that way. So that's it for title tags. Now let's talk about meta description tag and kind of going through the same process we did before. Meta description tag is not something you're going to see when you visit your web page uh, through a browser. It's not something visible to you. Now if you go to the code, you'll see meta name equals description content equals and then the actual text that you want to use for that meta description tag is here. Um, the most important thing to remember about the meta description tag though is it is a lot of times the text that's used under the blue clickable part 
uh, of your search result. So you'll see in this case the arrow is pointing to that section of text and that section of text is actually your meta description tag. So what are the rules for the meta description tag? Number one, use that primary keyword. Uh, also use two secondary keywords. Again, you're probably going to want to shoot for those highest volume keywords. And then lengthwise about 150 characters and that's with spaces. And again, that 150 characters is what shows up in the uh, search results. So that's kind of the guideline you want to shoot for. You also want to include a call to action. And that call to action is important because it's going to a lot of times drive someone to click on your search result and come check out your website. So if you have special deals, free shipping, a sale, um, some sort of a discount for new customers, you might want to include that in your call to action or in your meta description tag. Um, and finally, include your company name, another good way to make sure that you're showing up for your company name in the search results. So to go through an example, you have your primary keyword, Denver Health Insurance, under that two secondary keywords, Colorado Health Insurance, and then the City of Golden Health Insurance. And you can take that and turn it into a meta description as example. Uh, get Denver Health Insurance quotes from a trusted Colorado Health Insurance agent. Start now or call our Golden Health Insurance office at 303-555-5555. And this is a good description because, number one, you're getting the phone number in there. So if somebody just wants to call instead of come and check out your site, it might not happen a lot, but it's something they can do just based off of the search results. Also, it's good because it has a call to action. Start now, call uh, get quotes, all these things that people are going to be looking for when they're searching for insurance online. So we've talked about title tag and meta description tag. Now let's talk about meta keywords. Meta keywords is kind of a funny one because meta keywords is really not all that important when it comes to search engines at this point. Um, particularly, Google has stated that the meta keywords tag is something they've just completely stopped looking at. And that's because in the past it's been misused by search engine optimization experts. So that's just something to know. Uh, but let's still go through it because there still is an importance there and that importance is that uh, Yahoo, Bing, they might still look at that a little bit and also internal search on your website a lot of times is going to look at that. So it's still a good tag to put in. So looking here, um, on the web page itself in the browser you're not going to see the meta keywords tag. It is something that's in the code and it's meta name keywords equals or content equals and then your list of keywords and it is uh, like the other two in the head section. It's not visible at all in search results and the general guidelines and rules is to use primary keyword and then some variations of that keyword and I'll show you what that looks like as well as two secondary keywords and variations and possibly you might want to add some other secondary keywords that you have. Uh, lengthwise a max of 20 keywords and remember Denver Health Insurance counts as one keyword and make sure that those keywords are comma separated. So Denver Health Insurance, comma, Colorado Health Insurance would be the way that you'd write. So let's do our, ex our example here. Keyword list, um, we go to that and we see Denver Health Insurance, Colorado Health Insurance, and Golden Health Insurance are uh, the top three keywords we have, and then we have those other keywords we could potentially use. So a meta keywords tag could look like Denver Health Insurance, Health Insurance Denver, that's a variation, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Colorado Health Insurance, Health Insurance Colorado, Golden Health Insurance, Health Insurance Golden, and then listing some of the other cities. Now ideally you're going to want to have web pages for all of these cities on your website, uh, but on the home page you could potentially use different city names um, in the meta keywords tag. So that's it for title, description, and keywords. Now let's talk about the actual page content itself. 